a shifting planet, a brand new theory, and a gym ball. John, the Library of Congress is not just about books and printed materials. We have a perfect example right here. Tell me about this. Well, obviously you're looking at a globe. Okay. And of course you're looking at a handmade globe. And this globe is part of the collections of the Library's Geography and Map Division. And in 1957, Marie Thorpe and Bruce Heason were oceanographers at Columbia University. And they had been hired to study the development of something known as the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which is a mountain range in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. In the process of doing that research, they were able to determine uh, there was something that we call continental drift. And this little globe here was produced by them to show first where that ridge was located and its relationship throughout the oceans of the world, but also to prove that the concept of continental drift was real. What did they make it from, do we know? Well, uh, there's a, a light plastic material that they um, applied to the surface and then they carved it out to form the mountain ranges as they have it. They didn't have a mold. They had to actually work this out themselves. So I have to ask you, uh, why didn't they use a globe? Why did they have to start on a ball and actually build it up themselves? I think it's more dramatic. You know, if you took a globe, they'd just be applying information on top of it. It was already established globe. And second on this, they wanted to give some form of raised relief. You can see the raised relief imagery. Yep. That's kind of difficult to find on a, a common globe. So for them, it probably felt a lot easier just to make it themselves. And this, of course, is the actual uh, artifact that they made. This is the one and only artifact they made of this piece. I'm John Hebert, Chief of the Geography and Map Division, Library of Congress.